John chapter 21 in the New Testament tells of the disciples who were out all night long fishing. In other words, they were grinding for that fish. And basically, after a whole night of fishing, came up with zero zip zilch. Crack of dawn early in the a.m., the goat, greatest of all time, Jesus, was posted up on the shore, but the squad didn't clock that it was him. He hollered at them, bam, which means family. Any luck with the fishies? They shot back, we got nada. Then he was like, uh, your net is on the left side of the boat. Try throw your net on the other side of the boat. Lo and behold, they did, and they found some CEO fish vibes. The net was so loaded with fishies, they couldn't haul it up. The problem was not that they didn't know how to fish. The problem wasn't that there weren't any fish. The problem was that they were on the wrong side of the boat. They just had to switch tracks. And Jesus is like, you're on the wrong track. You're not where the miracle can come to you. You were trying to fish on your own, just by your lonesome selves. You should let me fish with you, because I know where all the fishies is at. I'm the OG, the original God fisherman. One disciple is like, Dude knows how to fish. <sighs> we should definitely fish with him. <laughs> And another disciple is like, why are we not fishing with dude? And they all look at each other and shout, dude, 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 we are only fishing with you from now. Get your ass in this boat. And Jesus says, no, I'm not getting in your boat. You're getting in my boat. I will make you fishers of men. You will catch way more than fishies when you fish with me. When you're on the right track, you don't just get remission from lymphoma. You get joy in loving your life again. You don't just get peace in your family. You get good hair, no bags under your eyes, and a ton of me time. You don't just get increased income. You get rich friends, so you have someone to enjoy the money with. In Revelations, God says, if you are neither hot nor cold, but are lukewarm, I will spit you out of my mouth because you don't taste like anything. In the spiritual realm, it's all or nothing. It's rain or shine. You are either on the right track or you on the wrong track. And God does this to teach you how to appreciate the good things. Never take them for granted. And by the way, spit out the bad things. We have low standards. We're like, that's good enough. It's fine. Don't ask for more. And God is like, if you ask for more, you get it. So why don't you ask? And you're like, because I don't want to switch tracks. It's too much to change my focus from the stress to inner peace because then I'm always worried about that stress that I left behind. Like, who's going to take care of it if I don't? That's like saying, if I leave the left side of the boat, what if, like, a fish comes by and I miss it? So you're going to ignore the millions of fish on the right side of the boat? Cut your losses. What you're doing isn't working. Be willing to switch tracks because it's not going to take a long time for you to see results. It is taking you a long time for you to trust yourself. Because for the first time, you're inviting God to walk with you on the new track. You've never done that before, babe. You're like, God, point me to the right track. Okay, I'm going. Bye. Or you're like, I think I can make this old track work. I think I can do it. I'm going to pep talk myself. Or you're like, I'm not happy on this track, but at least I know where I'm at. I don't even know where that new track looks like. Okay, but if you invite God to walk to 
to the new track with you and invite God to walk with you on the new track, God has some major CEO fish vibes. He knows where all the fishies is at, but he cannot enact his powers when you're on the wrong track because you're trying to do it alone with no support. You don't trust anyone. You don't trust yourself. When you're on the right track, you're surrounded by the right people. You're doing the right kind of work. You have a support system. Now God can enact his powers because the new track can hold a miracle. The old track cannot handle a miracle because even if you get a miracle, you don't trust yourself with it. The new track can handle a miracle because there's trustworthy relationships, there's trustworthy systems, there's trustworthy work that when you get a miracle, you can trust yourself with it. And the trick is this, you must invite God to walk with you to the new track and walk, walk with you to the new track and walk with you on the new track. You just have to get in Jesus's boat. That's all you gotta do, the fishies will come. Please write this in your journal. All I have to do is invite God to walk with me to the new track and then walk with me on the new track. Okay, great. Okay, so now it's time to turn whatever track you're on into the right track. The disciples just want some fishies and Jesus answers them, I will give you fishies plus the secret to entering the kingdom of God. The disciples are like, no cap, bruh, the fishies are enough. You didn't have to throw in the kingdom. That is absolutely overkill. And Jesus is like, that's just how I roll. Je Jesus says, I'm not just going to give you the miracle. I'm going to give you the source of that miracle. Jesus says to Dodi, I'm not just going to give you remission from lymphoma. I'm going to give you the source of that miracle, which is your joy, your love for life. Jesus says to Michelle, I'm not just going to give you peace in your family. I'm going to give you the source of that miracle, which is your me time, your creativity, your delight, and your self-care. Jesus says to Mary, I'm not just going to give you money in the stock market. I'm going to give you the source of that miracle, which is your generosity in helping saints who are sincerely suffering. Whenever you're helping good people be more good, not helping greedy people be more greedy. Jesus says to Dr. Rachel, I'm not just going to give you increased income. I'm going to give you the source of that miracle, which is you focusing your attention in one direction. So now it's your turn. You're going to write in your journal, Jesus is saying to you, I'm not just going to give you blank. You're going to write your goal in. I'm going to give you the source of that miracle, which is, and then you're going to write what that source is. And the hint is if you're really clueless is what earlier when you write down what, how you want to feel, 